Right, I'm Maggie from Bespoken. Okay. Um, could you tell me a wee bit about yeah. Disabled Go? Yeah, we are Disabled Go. So we are an online website. Uh, so we have access information on our website. So for anyone who has a disability, they can go onto our website uh, and look at our restaurants, hotels, cinemas, theatres, libraries, editions, and those sorts of venues. Okay. Basically, we send our own transfers out to each venue. So I go to each venue, we have parking, you know, like how many food badge ways are there, is there automatic doors, manual doors, how wide is the entrance, is there adapted toilets within the venue, and if so, what are the dimensions of that, the way does the door open, things like that. So before someone goes up and goes to one of these venues, they can go on our website, okay. access the free information, and see whether it meets our own requirements. Okay. Um, it has photos and things like that, so you get a visual image in here as well. Excellent. The one thing that annoys me so much yeah. is um, like they advertise a lot in national papers um, that these trips you can get down to London, get down the train, you fly down, forever. They'll give you different options, they'll book your ticket for whatever show you want to go and see, your hotel, everything. But when you phone up and say you're a wheelchair user, it's like, oh sorry, we can't do it for you. Yeah. You'll have to do it yourself. And you say, why? Why is that? Um, well, we can basically, we can book your train journey down. We can book your accommodation, but we can't get your tickets for the show. You'll have to deal with that. So it means that we can't do the package then. No. Um, so I've, I've been down to London. I've been down with a family member. We've booked the train, we've booked the show, um, and accommodation all separate. But then trying to get around London was pretty horrendous. Um, I mean, I was lucky, it was my niece I was with, and she was pretty good. We're lucky with the weather. It was dry, and we were able to get about me pushing a chair, um, and she was quite good at remembering directions and things. But it was over an hour pushing to get to where we wanted to go and things. Um, so, I mean, You'd be good at that then, if I was to contact you, would you be able to help me out with something like that? Um, we don't deal with like, transport that much, it's more sort of venues individually, as I said, like the restaurants, hotels. Right. So our guide starts from when you get to like, the deck or right. whatever. Um, we, do, we do do guides for train stations and bus stations, but we don't do the tube or anything like that. No, because that's um, a nightmare. <laughs> so in terms of the actual transport and walking around like, the streets, we don't actually go into, into right. that. It's more the actual venues themselves. If I was to contact you and say I was going to a show in such and such a theatre, yeah. um, would you be able to recommend like the best hotel closest wise uh, in distance? Would you be able to do that to help yeah, someone well, out? What we can do is obviously we've covered loads of boroughs in London, so yeah. we've done that. We've got a hotel nearby. Yeah. We can go on our website, find that distance, and basically on the hotel on our hotels that we yeah. survey. Yeah. So if you're looking for, you know, a hotel that's got a wheeling shower nearby, we can tell you what the yeah. ones we've spayed, what ones are nearby, and, you know, we have to tell you the dimensions and things like that. Right. So you know the mutual requirements. Right. Um, but it's, we haven't done everything, obviously. Yeah. It's not the UK, but it's certain venues right. we haven't done, so, you know, we certainly help you out with things like that. That's great. Okay, thank you.